So today people are bringing you a brand new glitch which allows you to max out that crafting stat within that technical ability attribute in seconds guys and it's stupid easy to do. How's it going people my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So firstly I just want to mention full credit for this one goes to Video Game Data Bank who I will state post some great glitches if that's your thing. You'll find his channel linked down below. Also I was pointed in the direction of one of his comments where someone said they can't wait for me to steal the video and claim everybody's stealing mine. I mean I just want to say something I know obviously this dude's a complete idiot and well if he thinks I steal videos and don't credit others he's clearly watching the wrong guy. I mean I could spout out a few names but can't be bothered to start any drama as it's BS. But I do want to point out, if any of my videos I have covered already, you've watched and you feel I've given credit to the wrong person for, seriously hit me up on my Discord link below and I will 100% rectify any problem. But trust me guys, I 100% believe in looking after that smaller guy and giving credit where it's due every single time. So if you see idiotic comments like this on anybody else's videos, please don't allow it to tarnish my reputation because it definitely is not the case. Okay, so this exploit sees you being able to max out that crafting stat in seconds, people. Now, it is really important to mention, the max this crafting stat can go up to is 20. And that's if you have 20 attribute points spent into technical ability. If you have, crafting will max out at 20. If not, it will max out whatever your technical ability attribute is. Mine, for instance, is 14, so mine will max out at 14. And all this consists of is dismantling things. But well, here's the glitch. If you dismantle something you have equipped, which stacks, you get a ton of XP for it. Let me explain. So for instance, grenades or max stocks are amazing for this. So let's say you have a stack of 1000 max stocks as I do in this video, which I did use the duplication glitch to get. You can then, while all said item is equipped, dismantle them even if no indication is there to do so. So for instance, while said item is equipped, dismantle it from your inventory. Like I said, there's no indication to do so, but on Xbox hold Y, PlayStation hold triangle, and I'm not sure about PC. And you will still get that option to dismantle. Then what you want to do is just dismantle one, one of the stack. What it does is actually give you the XP for dismantling this entire stack you have. So if it's a thousand, that's 1000 times the XP for each one. And I believe you can get these stacks up to 9999, so basically 10k. So that will be 10k times the XP you get for dismantling one. And like I said, this works with max stocks and grenades in my opinion, the best to do is with. And if you have got a high enough stack, you will literally jump to that max stat straight away. Now you can purchase grenades and match ducks. These in my opinion, like I said, are the best to do this with. But you can also use the duplication glitch, which I've already covered. If you don't know anything about that, I will pin it at the top of the comments section and also link it within the video description. But yeah guys, this simple yet very effective glitch sees you being able to max out the crafting stat, in reality like video game data bank states, in one button enough prep is done and your stacks are high enough. So a quick rundown of the video. Duplicate your grenades or max stocks to whatever number you feel is efficient. I'd probably say 1000 minimum. Make sure said item is equipped. Go into your backpack, find said item that's equipped. Hold that button down to dismantle even though there's no indication on screen. Dismantle only one of that stack. Back out and you'll see it works. Go back in, repeat the process. You don't have to back out in between each one by the way people. I just suggested back out just to see if it's working for you. But it should be. And it really is as simple as that guys. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.